Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to install mods on a Terraria server. Before we get started, the server must be on Tmod Loader, and I'll have a video linked in the description going over how to install Tmod Loader on your server. Also, some mods require a new world to run correctly. If you don't know how to create a new world on your Tmod Loader server, I'll have a video linked in the description as well. Lastly, some mods are only compatible with a specific Tmod Loader version, so check the mod description to make sure you have the right mod and mod loader version. First, we're going to open Tmod Loader through Steam. Once open, we're going to choose Workshop, then we're going to choose Manage Mods, and then we are going to enable any of the mods that we would like to add to our server. Optionally, we can choose the cog icon and change any of the mod settings we'd like within the mod so we can have those on the server as well. And then once we have those changed, we can choose save config. We are then going to click back. Then we're going to go to mod packs and we are going to hit the save enabled as new mod pack button. We will then name the mod pack anything we'd like and choose submit. Under the mod pack, we're going to choose export pack instance button. Once the new window comes open, open the save data folder. And then we're going to minimize this and we're going to use this later in this tutorial. Now we're going to log into our Bicep Hosting Games panel and choose our Terraria server. We are then going to choose the stop button to stop the server. We can then go to the files tab and we're going to open the dot local folder, then the share folder then Terraria, then Tmod Loader, and lastly, Mods. We are then going to open the minimized folder that we had opened earlier, and we are going to drag this into this folder, all of the mods that we want to have on the server. Once those are installed, if you did not choose to change any config files, you can go back to the Home tab, start your server, and you'll have all of those mods installed on your Terraria server. If you did choose to change the config files, we need to go back to the Tmod Loader. Then we need to choose the Create button and select Create Folder. We then need to name that folder Mod Configs and choose the Create button. Then we need to go into this Mod Configs folder. And in this Mod Configs folder, we are going to drag and drop any Mod Config file that you had earlier into this folder. Once you've dragged all of those in here and they have uploaded, you can go back to the home tab, start your server, and you'll have installed the mods with those mod configs changed on your Terraria server. We will now go over how to install mods on a Terraria server manually. First, we're going to log into our Bicep Hosting Games panel and choose our Terraria server. Next, we're going to choose the red stop button to stop the server. We are then going to go to the files tab, and we're going to go to the dot local folder, then the share folder, then the Terraria folder, then the Tmod Loader folder, and finally the Mods folder. We are then going to choose the Upload button, and we're going to select our desired Tmod files. These files can be found in your Steam Apps folder under the Workshop folder numbered 1281930. Once you've uploaded all the files that you would like, we're going to choose the Create button and choose Create File. Once we are in this file, we are going to add the mod names to this file with the following format. Bracket, enter, parentheses, and within the parentheses, we're going to input the mod name. And the in parentheses, comma, and then we're going to do the same format for every mod that we have. And the very last mod that we have, we are not going to put a comma. We're just going to hit enter and end the bracket. I will have this also in the description so you can easily copy and paste this. Once that's done, choose the create file button and we're going to name this enabled.json and choose create file. Once that's done, we can go back to the home tab, start our server, and we will have installed those mods on our Terraria server. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.